Me and May. Rat. Rat. <laughs> round and round. Yeah. We're not going to record any guitars tomorrow. We're going to fucking sit and drink. <laughs> We're going to listen to rat all day. every fucking rat record. <laughs> I got together a list of producers of like, they have done like my favourite albums ever. We got a uh, management to get in touch with him and I was fucking stoked when he like got back to us. Like, I was just like, right, this has to happen. Like, he's gonna make our album amazing. It's hard, Matt. Yeah, a little bit, but that's just how it goes. It's only day like, what, eight? Recording? Day eight. Of actual recording? Especially going through pre-pro, he like, Worked us all out individually, like how to work with us, everything, which is exactly what I wanted from a producer. And, and I really think we came out with the best album, probably a better album than we could have done with anyone else. Yep, we're going well. I'm, I'm always going to feel uh, like I'm behind the curve. But yeah. at, least, at least this early in the session, it's just hard to be sure. But we'll be okay. I have confidence we'll be okay, even if in my head I worry. We didn't know anything that was going on. We didn't know anything um, like about Seattle, where we were, and he was educating us. Kind of, so he became kind of like reluctant father figure, and he would have to drive us around to go to go out and then to the supermarket and stuff. So I think he had to be quite tolerant of us. Hey, you guys come to my fucking house and sleep on the couches till the morning. No, no, no. <laughs> there won't be none of that. And he told me a lot. I must say. Well, he had that thing <laughs> where he go like, sometimes you, 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 you do something funny or say a joke, and he'd just say it was funny. He'd be like, that's funny. Yeah, he, he's got his like, aggressive side, which I love. Like, fuck you, computer. <laughs> like, I love it. Yeah, whichever, between kids and, and loaded guns. I want to start with loaded guns and finish with kids. I want to finish the kids with loaded guns. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's a whole different subject. <laughs> that really is. <laughs> and we have you on film saying that. <laughs> well, I didn't say which kids. <laughs> and I didn't say all, all the kids. And I didn't say all kids. <laughs> Can we just settle on most? Most. <laughs> <laughs> Except for your fans. Get House Point, yeah. House Point? Yeah. That's what we called it at school. Uh, a, uh, okay. a lucky star. I don't know which we just did. Oh, no, I'm not Six. You please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very rewarding. I had a chart on the wall um, in, the, in the studio with everyone's parts, everyone's names, instruments, and songs. Doing the chart it was really satisfying. Like getting something done and pressing it up. You could see it coming together visually as well as orally. Well, it's kind of like our advent calendar to go on home. Yeah, I didn't really get to, to use the chart. Well, I did a few things like like singing. And Stuff, but the chart was made after John's film. Day by day, cross by cross, it came to a very slow end that we realised that it was going home time. So for me, especially like the more you got towards the end, you're like, shit, I've only got like three crosses to go. You're just like, this sucks, I want more to do. Like, and as soon as I hit the end, you hit the last one, it's like, no, like, I want to stay another month. Let's do another album now, <laughs> let's just do more and more. Researching online, trying to find weird noises and grumps, find all these like, recorded sounds of like babies in wounds and stuff and we were just trying to find really weird stuff. I got to play first time I've ever played block. I had all the extra percussion bits like tambourine and, and we tried to work in like a weird rhythmic thing where we just had loads of pots and pans and like uh, like a water cooler. We're trying to write some piano parts as well for 
for some of the songs that didn't quite fit, but we were just excited because there was a piano there and we were like, yeah, we've got to put everything we can possibly put on this song. And mad to say, no guys, calm down. And I did play piano. <laughs> but it was like, it was just three keys, like harmonising, just going, kind of Andrew WK style. But it was just meant to be a subtle undertone. And um, I got to do like three or four takes of that. That was really fun. How are you feeling about the, the farewell snow that we were receiving here? Well, I hope that it doesn't settle and then all the planes are cancelled. And we can't get home, and we can't talk. And uh, the album was done, which obviously we were over the moon about, but uh, for one could have uh, quite easily gone off for a little bit longer. We'd had just the right amount of time away, and I think we were half ready to come back and half kind of missing Seattle. It was strange coming back to England, because it's so different and getting off the plane and hearing English accents for the first time that weren't ours. But I was like, well, I'm going back in a week or two, so it's like, game on. <laughs> we didn't really have a chance to get used to being back in England. I mean, we came, what, like straight back for a day and then had like a two-week tour or something. So are you excited about going home to Grant's home? No. Oh. Yeah. You excited about tour? No, I'll say it, but you, this might make a DVD at some point in life. Yeah. You about to it? <laughs> That'll be rubbish. <laughs>